Okay, so it's here. It finally came. Now the moment of truth, the unboxing. So I've been waiting for two weeks on this thing to show up. So I'm hoping it's all it's cracked up to be. Come on, let go. Ooh. Oh, there's the antenna. There's, there's the little antenna. So this is a real link. So you could guess by the packaging. This has its own solar panel, its own mounting brackets, it's supposed to have its own data card already in the package. So that all I gotta do is basically set it all up, turn it on, activate it, get it set where I want it. And we should be pretty much good to go right after I get the um, app set up on my phone. But we actually saw this on a rural farm video that the gentleman had bought this very same one so that he could monitor the far ends of his property where he didn't have internet access and it actually worked for him really really well he gave really good review on it so we decided this is definitely something we wanted to check out so i'm gonna finish getting this guy set up and look through everything that it came with and hopefully we'll be good to go So as I suspected, it didn't come with the SIM card. So I got it all set up, powered it up, and it says, did not recognize. So I opened it up and realized, oh, they didn't insert it already. Okay. So I'm glad I double checked that before putting it all up and, you know, anchoring it where it was going to go. So the next thing I have to do is contact T-Mobile. I already checked the IMEI. Everything's good to go. I just have to go in store to pick up a SIM card. So when we got up early this morning, um... One, it stormed pretty good last night. The wind hasn't really let up completely. Um, it's not as much of an issue today as it was yesterday. Yesterday it was a lot of white caps. Um, but we woke up to this thumpy, thumpy, slap, slap, and then realized that this guy over at the marina, well, the yacht club, um, we're guessing he didn't tie in his roller furling very well. So it actually unrolled itself quite a bit. It's a lot of overcast. Um, we had a decent storm last night, so I got to top off another water jug. Always love that. It's free water. It's fresh. I still have to filter it because of the particulates that come off the top of the, um, the soft dodger, but that's okay. Um, got it all taken care of this morning and decided, you know, I'm up early enough. I might as well throw a line in the water, even if it is windy, because I had some old bacon in the fridge and I figured, well, if anything else, it'll be for a stinky bottom feeder. I ended up catching a catfish, which is why she's over there checking out the bucket. Which, he's a decent looking catfish. Um, I'd put him probably about 14 inches long. So, wouldn't you know it, as soon as I got set up to start doing my fish cleaning for the first fish I caught, I went to put my line away while I did that, and I happened to have a second one on the line. So we are down to the um, fish cleaning portion of the process and I will show you that here in a second. The other two I did get done, so turn that around for you. My fillets look pretty decent and I will tell you do not knock it until you've tried it because YouTube is a wonderful teaching resource. Um, 
because they will take you through step by step how to fillet your fish so you don't have to worry about bones. And the first one was a little bit tricky because I was having trouble hanging on and then realized it was my gloves that needed to be scrubbed off. I have to rinse them off in between fish so that I can keep my grip better. So I kind of messed up the first one, but the second fillets you saw are actually really decent. And then the third one should go a lot smoother. Um, you know, grab yourself a trusty pair of wire cutters and just take the spikes off. So then that way you can rotate the fish however you need to. You can get yourself comfortable so that you can make your cuts right. So real quick, uh, the tools that you will need is a trusty pair of wire cutters, which we kind of already went over. That's so that you can take the spikes off of the catfish. Uh, I use the needle nose pliers because they're really easy to use. They got a nice big grip on them to grab the skin so that you can properly skin the fish because catfish have very leathery skin. Um, and then you'll want yourself a really nice fillet knife. This one's a little old. It's got a couple of rust spots on it, but it still cuts just fine. So I will be using this one at least until I get my new replacement. Um, oh, last thing. Don't forget your trusty gloves because one, it helps you to keep a better grip on the fish, but also it will help protect your fingers in case you slip, which I have done many times and cut my fingers. So... Like I said, I'm not a professional at this, so I do the best I can. But yeah, that that way you don't have to worry about gutting it or anything. All right, all nice and clean, ready to use for next time. This is actually the starboard panel that we use to cover our sink so that it gives us a little extra counter room. But it works great for my cutting board. So I realized that my ceiling still looks really gross behind me. So I've done this particular shot. This will be the third time. Um, let's move outside because there's still a lot of work to be done to the ceiling, obviously, and it's a horrible backdrop. So we'll move up here. <laughs> That's better. Okay, so there you have it, folks. Um, it's nothing spectacular. I'm certainly not like restaurant quality filet master, but uh, you know, it tastes good. So that's all I care about. Nothing goes to waste. Everything that was left over as far as the carcass goes, um, that will, now that the spikes have been removed, so they stop puncturing plastic bags, they will be put into a plastic Ziploc and put into the freezer so that we can use those at a later time to bait in for crab and lobster. Anyway, so that's all I have for you today. Um, I think the rest of the afternoon is gonna be a movie day, which is kind of nice. <laughs> so there's not much else I can do up top just because the wind keeps picking up and now we've got quite a bit of white cap. So stay safe out there, enjoy the rest of your day, and don't forget to like and subscribe, please.